Okay, so good morning. Uh, we will now proceed to another statistical tool that you might use for your uh, research. So let's start. So assuming from the previous example uh, in the previous video, uh, we want to study the, we want to compare the satisfaction level of students on a particular computer laboratory. So in this, so in this case, the uh, students from BM, the business management, we have finance, and we have the HR. And then we want to compare the level of their satisfaction. So the statement, the problem, what is the satisfaction level of the computer laboratory among the BM, uh, finance and HR students? And after we, we solve or we, we computed the median or mean of the BM, finance and HR students, we, we will now ask, is there a significant difference on the satisfaction level on the computer laboratory among those students? Okay, so based from the state of the problem, the hypothesis is there's no significant difference. So in this case, we can ask, this is from the previous video. So in this case, the statement of the problem, the hypothesis for the statement of the problem, there's no significant difference on the satisfaction level on the computer laboratory among BM, finance, and HR students. So that is our null hypothesis. So as a reminder, every time you start, every time you start your analysis, always test the assumptions of that particular tools first. Okay, so if we're going to review our statistical framework that we had, okay, so how many dependent variables do we have in this study? Dependent variable only one, the satisfaction level, what type of dependent variable continues, okay, and then how many independent variables do we have? Very important, there's only one independent variable, the courses, and then if type of variable, the categorical, if categorical, how many? More than two and then more than two, and then if categorical, same or different participants. In this case, if your respondents from the previous video, if your respondents will answer or represent the BM, then he cannot or she cannot re represent the other departments because he will only have uh, one department. So every every courses here will be, we will have different respond participants for each uh, courses here. So in this case, we are going to use the different. And then the very important question is if the data does our data meet the assumption for parametric test? So in our previous example, uh, the data met the, the data met the assumption for parametric test. So that's why we use ANOVA. And now we will now test another data today if it will meet the assumption for normality. And if it is, we are going to use the ANOVA. And if it not, we will use the cross Wallace. Okay, let's start. So this is the, the new data that we have. So the first step is, this is the satisfaction 1, satisfaction 2, the items that will uh, compose our overall satisfaction. So to get the average, average, and then we will use that one. And then copy, same from the previous video, we drag all of that. And then, and then the courses, in, uh, courses encoded, copy all of that. And then we will use the course encoded here. Okay, and then control H, we will follow this legend here, encoding here for find what? The BM1, replace all. And then for the finance, finance2, replace all. And then the last for HR3, replace all. Okay, so close. So we are all we already encoded the courses. You copy this one here. Copy this one and you paste it here in the SPSS. So this is now the SPSS output. So after this one, we will now test the normality and the homogeneity of variances. So analyze same procedure as as the previous test. So descriptive and then explore and then. Let's reset this one. This function and then the course here. And then for the statistics, it's okay. The descriptives and then the plots. We will use the uh, histogram, the normality plot. And for the Levine's test, we're going to do the untransform. Okay. And then okay. And then you press okay. So this is our output here. So we have to inspect the result of the test normality and the test of homogeneity of variances. Okay, but before that, we will copy-paste that one. You can use the snipping tool. You can search snipping tool and then copy that one, press the new, and then we will paste the result here. 
okay we will paste the result here for our uh, yeah the assumption for our normality okay and then let's let's analyze so if we're going to look at the assumption of normality here the sig value for the Kolmogorov Smirnov here is less than 0.05 based in our you know, in the guidelines that we had okay, based on the guidelines that we had the normality uh, yeah the normality if the significant values are less than 0.05 the data significantly differ from normal distribution so we can consider that not normal so so in the testing for normality uh, the parametric test is uh, the assumption for the parametric test are already violated this one is less than less than less than okay but in order to complete the test let's also uh, inspect the homogeneity of variances okay let's copy this one and then you can paste it here okay and then let's inspect for the homogeneity of variances based on the mean the mean the sig value here is less than 0.05 and then based on our guideline here if the sig value is less than 0.05 hence the variances are not equal so ibig sabihin yan on the normality not equal on not not normal and, and the variance is not equal so it, it violated the assumption for parametric test that is why in this particular case we're going to use the the kruskal wallis test okay so how do we perform the kruskal wallis test so we make sure to save your files and then let's go back to our spss and then you go to analyze non-parametric and then you go to the this one and then k independent samples because we will do that the, our data are independent from each other. and the grouping value we have to define the minimum is one the grouping the encoding value one two three three and then the kruskal wallis test in this case exact if in in your case you will not be able to see the exact here just press the continue here okay so press continue okay and then let's inspect the result of our Kruskal Wallis here. Okay, so we need to post this one here. However, I told you from the last time that if you are going to do the non parametric test, the non parametric test, the median is more important than the, than the mean. Okay, so in order for us to get the mean, the median, you can use the custom table here, the tables, and then you can you can solve the uh, let's let's try so the course you can do that you can do this and then the mean you go to the summary statistics and then you move that back and then you put the median here and then i know cancel apply selection close and then yeah you can directly compute the median here however oh the median is the same so however if you're going to if you're going to do the uh, the medians are the same because this is just a fictitious data fictitious data that, that I made for this tutorial so let's continue so yeah however if you cannot do if you cannot see the custom table here you can also you can use the descriptive here you can use the explore and then you, you can do this and then make sure that the descriptive is checked and then you can find the BM the median here is this one and then for the finance the median here is 5.333 for the HR the 5.333 then you can simply make a table uh, what is that 2 by 3 table 3 by 3 table and just display that but in my case here since since the table is already available for me so I'm just going to use this one Okay, copy and then I'm going to paste this one on the uh, by the way on the result part here since the satisfaction level of the BM and students are not normally distributed and have unequal variances hence the researcher use cruz calwalis test okay 
Ruskell Wallace test. Okay, so for this one here, independent, uh, we will put the median here. Okay, this is the median. The median, and then for the Kruskal Wallis test, and then for the Kruskal Wallis test, we are going to put these two values here. These two values here. Okay, we can use this one. And we can copy that one and paste the results here. Then let's delete the previews. And then Okay, and then for the Cruz Calvalis Let's put it here. Wait, I will Okay, so let's continue. So I already arranged the table B because the formatting was um, strange. So in this case, the satisfaction, the median is 5.333. Of course, the expected result for our crucial values is we will take a look at the uh, asymptotic value here, at the asymptotic significant value here. Since the value is greater than 0 0.05, this value here. So if you're going to take a look at our guidelines here, for the t-test or the ANOVA or we can use ANOVA or Pascal Wallis or generally test of difference difference okay this will include the the t-test and then the ANOVA the Pascal Wallis if the SIG value since our SIG value is greater than 0 0.05 then we fail to reject the null hypothesis. We fail to reject the null hypothesis. So in this case, the hypothesis of our study is, the hypothesis here is, there is no significant difference. So based on the result of our Kruskal Wallis, we fail to reject and then said, say that there's no, still, there's no significant difference on the satisfaction level on the computer laboratory among the, those students. So how do we phrase the the conclusion on average okay this is very important trick in Microsoft Excel a uh, Microsoft Word if you if you use this one you always scroll down scroll up scroll down to, to, to look at the data you can simply go to the view and then you split display and then you can look at the data here while, while typing the conclusion here you can also adjust this one here and then for example we will now phrase our conclusion on average What's the median? So, so on average, the satisfaction level in the computer laboratory for finance, the median is 5.33. So we, we will have to replace this one, median, then the BM, 5.33, 33 are equal. Then the result shows that it's function level, and this is now the implication part. The result shows that the satisfaction level of finance students, BM, this one, of BM and HR students does not significantly differ. Differ from each other. Okay, and then you can just simply remove the split. Okay, so thank you. And I hope you, you practice this one. Do not just simply watch watch the video. Try to practice this one together with your SPSS if you have. Okay, so thank you.